A pedestrian was hit by a car this afternoon and was rushed to the hospital. It happened on westbound Central in San Pedro. You can see the damage to the car. The windshield is smashed. APD says the pedestrian will be okay. The crash shut down the area for a little while but was eventually reopened. Police are investigating. And that happened on the same day a study was released naming New Mexico one of the worst for pedestrian crashes. But Albuquerque fared better than other metro areas, and the city says that's because it's making an effort to make streets safer. News 13's Co Miller is live on Lead and Yale with the story. Yeah, Jessica, this is one of the streets named in that new report as an example of what works. And the city says it has its eye on a couple of other areas to make Albuquerque a better and safer place to walk. People doesn't have patience to wait and things like that. What I'm seeing is a lot of rule breakers. It's a free for all. They're talking about jaywalkers and people walking around not doing what they should. Everybody knows when it says there's a hand and it's red, stop. Green is go. It's not that hard. A new study from Smart Growth America ranks New Mexico 11th in the country in the number of fatal pedestrian accidents per 100,000 people, with a little more than three. We don't think about the safety until later. Albuquerque sees these kinds of accidents not always fatal, fairly often, but the study shows the Duke City did not make its list of dangerous metros. The first thing you do when you're, uh, the first thing you want to do when you're born is walk. But people don't really know how to walk within our street systems. Michael Reardon with Albuquerque's Municipal Development wants to change that. One of their notable projects, which is also mentioned in the study, are lead and coal streets. What we did with that roadway is return that to a two-way, two-lane roadway with wider sidewalks, pedestrian amenities such as street lighting and tree canopies. Reardon says that keeps people on the sidewalks. The city says it's already working on areas near the Alvarado Transportation Center and the 4th Street Mall to make downtown more pedestrian friendly. Reardon says they're rethinking the way they build streets altogether. We're just not building it for cars anymore. We're building for cars, bicyclists, pedestrians, really multimodal. Now Reardon says in a majority of these accidents, it's the pedestrian who is at fault. Jessica, back to you. Okay, Cole, the city says with the help of federal money, it's working to promote pedestrian safety.